My mother abandoned me and my brother when I was three and my brother was five. I didn't see her again except for a disastrous visit when I was seven to uh, two or three months when her boyfriend raped me. At 13, I went back to her. I didn't understand her. She didn't act anything like my grandmother. My grandmother was patient, kind, spoke slowly. Vivian Baxter spoke fast and she wiggled all the time. And she kept records on and songs and music and she wore lipstick and she danced. And I just couldn't get it. So I refused to call her mother, I called her lady. And she accepted that. Many people couldn't overcome that initial abandonment. Uh, that would have been something impossible to overcome. What, what, what allowed you to overcome she, that and establish a relationship? She loved me. And she told, she said, I really wasn't ready to be a parent. Then I realized there are some people who are great parents of small people. My mother was just the opposite. And then I saw she was very kind to people who maybe needed someone to be kind. What are some of the universal elements that that you have, have drawn from that relationship, the yeah. mother-daughter relationship? I learned that love heals. Not sentimentality, but love. And her love healed me. Your mother grew up in very different times. Yes. What would she make of an African-American being in the White House? She, I think, would have thought it should have been her. <laughs> Dr. Maya Angelou. Martin Luther King told me that he expected there to be a black president in 40 years. It was 40 years ago. I didn't. I thought I'd be long dead before that happens. Um, but my mother was that uh, hopeful. I'm myself positive and, and an optimist, but I wouldn't have gone there. How did I, born black, in a white country, poor, in a society where wealth is adored and sought after at all costs. Female in an environment where only large ships and some engines are described favorably by using the female pronoun. How did I get to be Maya Angelou? What are some of the lessons to take away from this book? Exercise patience with yourself first so you can forgive yourself for all the dumb things you do. And once you do, you can learn from that so you don't have to repeat them. And then exercise patience with your children, please. I pray that someone will hear that in this book and learn to be a little kinder. <laughs>